Hello. Welcome to another video from our channel. Here you will have tips and information on how to stay strong and healthy both physically and mentally, increasing your disposition, your stamina, and your immunity. Together we will be unveiling the secrets of how to benefit from everything that nature provides us to achieve our goal of enjoying a healthy life. Do you want a brain that is faster, more focused and ready for everyday challenges? How to develop that sharp mind? How to prevent memory loss and not forget the little things? The topic of today's video is 10 essential vitamins for your brain and we'll also talk about your 5 habits that should keep your memory sharper and prevent future dementia. And that matters because dementia is the seventh leading cause of death in the world today. It is one of the main causes of disability and dependency in the elderly. Fortunately, there are many ways to improve your brain health. We know that our lifestyle, our habits, what we do every day and how we eat, has a huge impact on our entire body. If you have a bad memory or are starting to lose it, don't just blame your genetics. Our lifestyle, our choices, damage our brains most effectively. That's why it's so important to take good care of our brain. Dementia is scary and starts years before the first signs and symptoms appear. Often decades ago. Start protecting your brain today by avoiding these situations as much as possible. This is especially true if there is a family history of dementia or Alzheimer's disease. One thing we can build on to have better habits for our brains is the five pillars of the Staying Sharp project. Pillar 1, Move. Physical exercise is closely related to memory. Exercise is the best way to keep your brain alive and active. If you do not play sports blood flow is reduced and can accelerate the degeneration associated with normal aging. Exercise also lowers the body's stress hormone, cortisol, and we know that cortisol thins the brain by destroying the connections between billions of neurons. In addition to improving blood circulation in the brain, it produces neurotransmitters and endorphins, it will bring us prosperity and tranquility, but most importantly exercise produces a substance called BDNF. This substance is a rather magical neurotrophin that improves nerve function, stimulates nerve growth and prevents cell death, while increasing the strength of nerve impulse signals. That's why physical exercise, aerobics and strength training, has been shown to be good for the brain. Pillar 2, Discover. New, challenging and fun are three words to train your brain. Your brain needs something unknown, something outside your comfort zone that gives you physical and emotional pleasure. Try to learn something new. Discover new languages, new hobbies, something satisfying. No matter your age, do new things and find new interests. Pillar 3, Rest. Chronic stress can kill brain cells and shrink the prefrontal cortex. Area responsible for memory and learning. That's why it's important to be flexible. People become less flexible as they age. It's important to recognize this in your attitude, take a deep breath and remember that others can be right too. And sleeping well is very important. Some studies suggest that sleeping less than 7 hours a night can affect cognitive abilities, memory, and thinking skills. Sleep is the basis of memory. The brain has a structure called the hippocampus. The hippocampus is the brain's memory box. It is he who receives and stores the information. When researchers looked at the hippocampus of people who didn't sleep through the night, the hippocampus shut down. Just like lack of sleep locks the box of memories and new information out of the hippocampus. Sleep also helps associate memories with previous or learned experiences, as well as helping store memories in the cerebral cortex and taking fragile short-term memories and converting them into more reliable long-term memories that can be accessed. Pillar 4, Socialize. Human interaction is essential at all ages. Looking into the eyes, hugging, 
kissing, touching, all these things help our brain. The Japanese include seniors in decision making and give them an active voice in society. So they live longer and better. Loneliness is linked to a higher risk of depression and Alzheimer's disease. Pillar 5, Nourish. To reduce your risk of dementia and improve your memory, it's important to eat foods that support brain health. And this is where vitamins come in. The more varied the diet the more colorful, the more vitamins and minerals you will eat. Did you know that there are over 50,000 edible plants in the world and only three of them rice, corn and wheat provide 60% of the world's calories? And the brain is a complex organ that requires a lot of nutrients to function properly. And the lack of vitamins or minerals impairs memory. And the brain is a complex organ that requires a lot of nutrients to function properly. And the lack of vitamins or minerals impairs memory. Research shows that the best foods for your brain are the same ones that protect your heart and blood vessels. More fruits, vegetables, chestnuts, nuts, fish, and eggs. What are the 10 essential vitamins and minerals for brain health? First, vitamin A. Eat fruits, vegetables, and greens. Vitamin A is found in carrots, papayas, mangoes, squash, sweet potatoes, eggs and spinach. Vitamin A can slow cognitive decline by promoting communication between neurons and making them more flexible. Therefore, vitamin A and beta-carotene must be obtained from the diet. Monday, vitamin B1. B1 is known as thiamine. Very low thiamine levels can cause beriberi, which causes loss of appetite, muscle weakness, and burning feet. Vitamin B1 is essential for the basic functions of our cells, especially glucose metabolism. Serves to transmit nerve impulses. Where can I find vitamin B1? Nuts, lentils, beans, sunflower seeds, pork, fish, and yogurt. Third, vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 or pyridoxine supports immune system and brain health. Where is B6 rich? Dark green leaves, banana, papaya, orange, chickpeas, fish and chicken. Wednesday, vitamin B7. Vitamin B7 is known as biotin. In addition to improving hair and nails control cell signaling for fast communication via neurotransmitters. Where biotin is mostly found in eggs one egg contains one third of the recommended daily amount. Thursday, vitamin B9. Also known as folic acid. As the name suggests, it comes from leaves like spinach, chard, and cabbage, but it also comes from asparagus, lentils, and chickpeas. Friday, vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is one of the key vitamins for nervous system function, as well as red blood cell and DNA synthesis. Symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency include numbness, loss of appetite, loss of memory and concentration, dizziness, and general malaise. The main ingredient is meat, dairy products such as yogurt, eggs, seaweed and fermented foods. 7th, Vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiency is very common in the elderly and is associated with several diseases. Vitamin D is an indicator of health. Sunlight is your best resource. People who are physically active outside the home you need high levels of vitamin D to enjoy life. Vitamin D maintains cognitive function. Vitamin D deficiency can accelerate age-related cognitive decline. 8th, Vitamin E. Vitamin E is an antioxidant. Vitamin E fights free radicals that can damage brain cells. Patients with Alzheimer's disease and mild cognitive impairment have been found to have low levels of vitamin E and markers of oxidative stress. Ninth, Vitamin K. They found that high vitamin K intake was associated with better cognitive function and neurofibrillary tangles associated with Alzheimer's disease. Where can I find vitamin K? Eggs, milk, 
spinach, kale and dark leafy vegetables like broccoli. 10th, Magnesium. Magnesium increases the density of synapses, the communication links between brain cells. It can improve both short-term and long-term memory and reduce the risk of age-related memory loss. Magnesium is found in dark leafy vegetables, whole grains like brown rice and oats, fish, beans, bananas, and yogurt. The truth is that the mind, like the body, can always change, for better or worse. And the extent and nature of these changes has more to do with activity than age. And then? Did you like this content? Was it relevant? Added more value and knowledge? Post here in the comments and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you don't miss any notifications. Share with friends and relatives so that more people have access to this content. Leave your like, so YouTube understands that this information is relevant and makes it reach more people, so that everyone enjoys more health. Live a full life, face your challenges with faith, eat right, move with joy and walk hand in hand with happiness. Until the next video.